Good morning and welcome to my day in the life of a working mom vlog. I work as a nurse, so I wanted to kind of show you my routine on a work day and also what I do at work. So as you saw, the first thing I do is come downstairs because I want to be quiet when I first get up so that I can make it out of the house to go to the gym. So I come downstairs, brush my teeth, that I drink some water, that's like my number one rule when I wake up. And another big thing I do is lay my clothes out the night before because I feel like that just helps me so much feel prepared and like more ready to get up even though I'm never completely ready to get up. So I usually get up at five, I have to be at work at seven and that gives me enough time to go to the gym, shower and all that good stuff. So right now I'm gonna change and head to the gym. Let's go. I made it to the gym, I'm about to go inside. Um, I wanted to kind of tell you what I'm training for and also that it's like 65 degrees outside. So even though it's January, the reason I don't have a jacket on is because it's very warm. I figured people would be wondering that. So I'm training for an ultra marathon that is in four months. It's a 50K in California. So that is why I'm being so like disciplined on my gym schedule in the mornings. Today's actually not a running day, it's a strength day. So I'll be doing some leg work, um, weightlifting, like squats and stuff like that. So I'm gonna head inside. I actually don't think this will take me too, too long. And I try to get home by 6.30 so that I have time to like shower and everything without rushing. Workout is complete. That was a really nice little circuit. Um, I improvised a little because the squat racks were taken. So I did a leg circuit over my own little corner. The gym was kind of busy for being this early and I wanted to film it for you guys. That's a really good little workout that you can also do at home with no weights if you want to, or with just like two dumbbells, or honestly, you could use anything for weight. But now I'm getting ready to head home. John and Tiana are still sleeping, I'm sure. They usually wake up around like seven or 7.30, and like I said, I have to be at work at seven. My goal is to get out the door before they wake up. It's a lot harder to get out the door once Tiana's awake, because of course I want to give her attention, and also it's sad for a toddler when one of the parents leaves. John is also going to be filming his day with Tiana, so they're gonna have like a daddy-daughter day while I'm at work. Um, so they're gonna be filming that as well. So we're gonna be having a really fun vlog, like flipping back and forth between me working and what they're up to. And just like that, I'm back where I started. So I'm gonna try to be really quiet and go upstairs and hop in the shower. I typically end up showering and getting ready in Tiana's bathroom because she comes to our bed in the middle of the night so I don't want to go in our shower because it'll be too loud and she'll definitely wake up. So I basically bring all my stuff in here the night before and in the morning it's all ready for me. I typically don't wash my hair um, unless I get really sweaty, like go for a really long run or something like that. But like before work, my hair's in a scrub cap at work anyway, so I don't really wash my hair right before work. And I just put on some lotion, some deodorant, some essential oils that my sister made me, and then pretty much I'm ready to go. Before I go back downstairs, I wanted to tell you about today's video sponsor, Native. The Native product that originally got me turned on to their brand was their deodorant, because I had been in search of a cruelty-free and vegan deodorant that was also paraben and aluminum-free. Native checked all those boxes, not to mention it smells amazing and it goes on smooth and not sticky. Let me show you because it's hard to find a deodorant like this that goes on smooth and doesn't leave white residue. They also have amazing scents. These are my favorite three scents. Coconut and vanilla is just like cozy and it always smells good. Eucalyptus and mint is like refreshing and energizing and lavender and rose is just like relaxing and peaceful. One of the main things that's super important to me about the Native deodorant is that it protects against odor for up to 72 hours. Native also just came out with a plastic free earth friendly packaging for their deodorant. So you can get this same formula in 100% plastic free packaging, which is what I'll be switching to. And Native has more to offer than deodorant. They also have lotions, which you saw me using this earlier. It smells phenomenal. And they also have body washes. I can't 
can't rave about native enough. I love it. I know you'll love it too. So 3D deodorants is usually $39, but if you use my link and my code SHOLER, you can get 3D deodorants for $26, which is over 33% off. And if you use my code, you can also get 20% off lotions and body washes. I promise you'll love it as much as I do. Last thing, I almost forgot my necklace, which my sister also gave me because everything cool I have is actually from her. <laughs> okay. Now I'm ready and now I gotta get going because I've been taking my time this morning. Typically right now is when I would pack our lunches, but I'm actually gonna buy lunch today at work and treat myself. Um, we also are out of leftovers and don't have any bread to make sandwiches. Okay, now I really gotta go. The first thing I do when I get to work is change into my scrubs in the locker room. And I wanted to let you know that I'm filming on my phone now because I'm at work and I can't carry around a camera set up. So if you notice the audio or the video is not as good as normal, that is why. But I'm still gonna take you along. So I'm changed into my scrubs and now I'm gonna go upstairs and see what my assignment is for the day. And the assignment is the thing that tells you what kind of surgeries you'll be providing anesthesia for. And I thought now would be a good time to tell you what kind of nurse I am because I haven't explained it yet. And if you haven't watched my videos, you don't know. So I'm a nurse anesthetist or a CRNA, certified registered nurse anesthetist. So I got my bachelor's in nursing, then went and worked in the ICU for two years and then went to anesthesia school for three years to get my doctorate in nurse anesthesia. So I provide anesthesia for surgical cases and I work in a level one trauma center. So we do all kinds of surgeries. I may be biased, but I honestly think I have the best job. I got my assignment. I'm gonna be doing nerve surgery today, which is a great room. I love neurosurgery. I have three cases. So I'm gonna go set up for my first one right now. Good morning, everyone. So I slept a little bit later than I was planning on. It's about 8.35 right now, which is not great because Tiana is still asleep and I have to have her to speech therapy in under 20 minutes. So I'm actually not gonna film a lot right now. I have to get her up, get her dressed, fix her hair, and get her over to speech therapy as quickly as possible. And then we'll check in after that. Hey, baby. Hey, beautiful angel, we gotta get up and get ready. You ready to get up? Oh. All right, so I think we're gonna make it. Cutting it pretty close. Uh, thankfully, we actually moved therapists last month, and this one is just like a block, block and a half away from where we live. So we are on the way right now. It's actually pretty warm out. Feels good. Tiana was a little upset because she didn't have time for oatmeal. That's daddy's fault. So she has some cereal. Is it good? <laughs> and I'm gonna make her some oatmeal when we get back home. But all right. Can daddy run? No. Please? Like no. it like this? No. Just a little bit? No. That Do I have to go root? Oh the, dad what? The ankle. <laughs> Oh no, even my daughter was like trying to protect my ankle. I gotta get this thing fixed. We're almost done. Your park is almost done. Oh my gosh, look at that. Are you excited? We are going to that park. Yeah, it's gonna be so much fun when it's done. Look at your beautiful hair. Daddy didn't do bad in a hurry. I'm gonna give daddy an eight out of 10 on that one. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh-oh, what's gonna happen? All right, so I wasn't ready for that at all, and I don't know if Rihanna did this the first time with her, but she didn't let me know, but I'm actually in a separate room. The last therapist let us go in the room with her, but I'm in a separate room with one of those like FBI looking glasses, so I can see through one side, she can't see me. Um, it's almost kind of sad, because I'm used to being in there with her. But maybe she'll learn better this way because she won't be as distracted with me in the room. We'll see. <laughs> I'm in here, baby girl. Can you say baby? Okay. Uh oh. This little baby hurt her arm. You did so good, baby girl. Where was daddy at? Did you know where daddy was? Where? I I was in another room, but I could see you through the glass working on your words, and you were doing so good. Can you say table? Table. 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 Table.
table. Good job. All right, you want to go home and eat? I'm so sorry I woke us up late. Good job. Perfect. All right, now you got to put it in the microwave. You want me to help you? Here. Put it in the microwave. All right, shut the door. And we'll go. All right, what's the final number? Five. Perfect. And zero. Perfect. Start. Push on. Yeah. All right. You go get comfy and I'll bring you your oatmeal. Okay. There you go, princess. Why are you thinking the rabbit? The rabbit didn't make it, daddy made it. Oh, whatever. Thank you, rabbit. Thank you, daddy. Thank you're, you, rabbit. You're welcome, baby girl. I love you. Yay, rabbit. Now remember, it's a little hot, okay? There you go. Oh, you're going to be a little bit Miss Pris today, huh? Help you. Help you blow it? <gasps> no. <gasps> Help me blow it. No, you blow it. Oh. All right, if I blow it, then it's mine and I eat it. No. Oh, okay. You blow it. There you go, baby. I'll count and you have to hide somewhere over there, okay? You ready? Alright. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ready or not, here I come. Hmm. Tiana, Tiana, where are you? Hmm. Yeah! I knew it. I knew it. Alright, you go count. You're picking! You're a cheater! Um, okay. Nope. Put your hand there. Alright, count. What are you doing back there? <laughs> what are you doing? Nothing. So Tiara and I had a really good morning, but now we're going to head off and run some errands. I got to go to the bank and then we're going to the library. Are you going to get new books? Yeah. So she's going to pick out some new books and play with the games and everything there. And daddy's going to get a coffee. Um, so that's her plans. Come along with us. Wait a minute. Where did Tiana go? Tiana Haven. Where are you? I knew it. I knew you were up to no good. You ready to go to the library? All right, fine. You stay here. I'll be back later. Love you. No, stay. 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 Can you sign my name right here? T for Tiana. I love it. What flavor do you want? Purple. Three, two, one, go. You better not let me win. Hey! No, I'm gonna win. I'm coming, I'm gonna catch. No, no, no! You always win. I'm gonna get you. Where are you gonna go now? Show me your best dance move, ready? Go. Oh, oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> Are you ready, Cross? Ew. Did you just lick me with your little sucker tongue? Yeah. Ew. Ew. Get 
out of here. <laughs> Which way is the coffee? Pick your drink. No, you don't get two. Okay, can I come in now? All right, watch. Hey, where'd he go? All right, he's coming in. You ready? Yes. Oh, he's stuck. <laughs> Did it hit you on the head? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Poor dog. Dog wants to play. When? Gotcha. All right. You ready? Yes. You want to go eat some food? Yes. What type of food? Coconuts. Coconuts? Hey, baby. What? Down here. You want some loopy leaf? Yes. All right, let's do it. These ones? All right. Girl, did you make me walk two blocks to a restaurant just so you could get barbecue chips? Yes. I just finished my second case of the day and I'm going to lunch before I start my third. Okay, so we actually got lucky and we're catching Rihanna on her lunch break. And Tiana wanted to say hi because she missed her mommy. You want to say hi to mommy? Look who came to surprise me at work for my lunch break. I'm so happy. Mommy will be home soon, baby girl. Bye. I know. Tiana's sad because she wants to go in the OR, and I was trying to explain to her that kids aren't allowed to go in the surgery room. I know, I'm sorry. I love you, baby. I'll be home at five o'clock, okay? Okay. okay. Five. Yeah, five. Oh, no, I'm going with that. I, I know, I wish you could go with me. Can I have a kiss? Bye bye. Okay, can I give you a kiss? Okay. I love you. That was such a nice visit, a great surprise on my lunch break to get to see Tiana and John. And now I'm heading back into my case, which is going to be a long one. This third case is going to be pretty long. So I'll probably be in there for the rest of my shift until 5 p.m. It's 1.30 right now, and I'll catch up with you guys when I get off. All right, so we're back home now. Tiana and I had a great day. I absolutely love our daddy-daughter days, but we really miss mommy right now because, well, I'm not going to lie to you guys. It's a lot easier with both of us, but I really do enjoy this time alone with her, and we get to do the father-daughter bonding. Um, she actually had so much fun. We came home, and she passed right out. So Rihanna will actually be home in about an hour or two. So I'm just gonna let baby girl sleep as long as she wants to. She's still recovering a little bit from being sick last week. So the more rest, the better. Also, I'm not even gonna try to hide it or lie to you guys. I'm having a ton of anxiety today. My surgery is tomorrow and I'm like fooling myself in my head, I guess. I feel like my ankle is truly like 
on the men now are starting to heal. It feels a lot better over the last couple of weeks, but I'm sure that's just my mind playing games with me because I want to avoid the surgery. It doesn't feel 100% better or anything like that, but I'm like bouncing back and forth. Should I just wait just a little bit longer or just go ahead and get the surgery over with? And of course, I've been telling myself for this for about two years now, a little over two years. So I probably just need to do it and get it out of the way, but um, I'm not doing too well with this. So today has been um, a little rough mentally for me. And I don't even know why I'm telling you guys this. Maybe just to talk with you. <laughs> and I'm whispering because baby girl's still asleep behind me. But 90% sure I'm just going to go ahead and do the surgery. This isn't a lot of fun. The only way I can slow down my eating is by eating with chopsticks. <laughs> I like that method. We decided to get Thai food because we were all starving. And Thai food just sounded delicious and also didn't want to cook, so. All I can find is now. Here's a fork. Delicious. What's y'all's yeah. favorite Thai food? Mine is personally the drunken noodles. Yeah, that one. With tofu. This one, this one. You like yeah. that one? You like that one more? So yours is the sweet and sour chicken? You like that one? Mine is the summer rolls. Also something else that's kind of cool is she likes hummus. Avocado and sushi. And, and cereal. But I don't know of any other four year olds that like sushi. She's. Loves I guess sushi. I don't know a lot of other four year olds. I like sushi. Mm hmm. That's why we got sushi, because you requested sushi. And then we thought, that sounds delicious. Let's get Thai food. Look. Again? I, I, I eat really fast. You do eat really fast. You want another one? Mm -hmm. I have four. You want four more? Wow. Let's take it. Oh, yeah. How about we cut this one up first? If you eat this, I'll get you another one. Mm -hmm. You know what's really good? If you take some rice, watch this. No, no, no. no. If, if you put this in a little bit of rice and try it, I think you'll like it. There you go. Push it on the. There you go. Push it hard on the rice. Tell me what you think. No. <laughs> was that a bad suggestion? At least the sweet and sour tofu was a hit. Mm -hmm. Wow. So the rest of my work day was actually really crazy. Oh my God! Yeah, it was that crazy. And I can't talk specifics about work because of patient confidentiality and all that kind of stuff, but just know it was a crazy day. Also, I wish I could show you guys more at work, but I can't show you too much stuff. I think I can show you just enough. I don't want to hear it. I'm a stay-at-home dad. You did great, stay-at-home dad. Tiana said she had a really, really good time. I got her to take a nap, so. Oh, uh, okay. That's I a can't w. even do that. That's a W for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Tiana, watch this. <laughs> 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 Look at me. I think we're actually going to wrap this vlog up here because the day's almost over. And I'm having a mental breakdown. <laughs> John's really nervous because he has surgery tomorrow morning. Can I tell them what you said earlier when I texted you and asked you if the doctor called? Oh, yeah. I asked John earlier if the doctor called yet with the surgery time, and he said yes, but I ignored it out of anxiety. So I, I called him back and got the time. I told him a little bit. I don't, you don't know this because I filmed it while you weren't here. Oh. But I told him that I was like having like a lot of anxiety, mm -hmm. nervous, and should I actually go through with it because it's such a big deal. I don't mean to be like a drama king. Is that how you say it? No, it's surgery. Anybody would be nervous. Yeah, I just feel like it's just ankle surgery and so many people go through so much worse but I've, and like probably don't have as much anxiety. But I just uh, very okay. nervous of hospitals Let's and do doctors that. and needles and surgery. Just about anything medical related. Well, well, something I've learned is it's not a competition. So just because people go through worse stuff doesn't mean that it's not a bad thing for you. Um, you know? Mm -hmm. Should we wrap it up? Guys. We appreciate you as always. Thanks for all the love and support on our channel. Thank you for all the love and support of our very special daughter, Tiana.
The best part is they can't see her head. Say, so see you on the next video. Nothing like, a, <laughs> nothing like a mouthful of food to say that. Mwah. See you guys. Bye 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 bye. Ew, are you showing them your tofu? <laughs> Ew! <laughs> Don't show them your tofu.